This is my 1981 Yamaha XS1100, and it ran really poorly. It would only run on choke, and it smoked, and it hesitated to rev when it was given some throttle, and off choke, it would die immediately. So I want to show you a quick tip here. This is the main jet, and below it is the idle jet. This is a four-cylinder motorcycle. They're all more or less the same uh, Japanese bikes. So I want to show you how to check the idle jet because the idle jet has the smallest passageway and it's the most likely to get plugged. So we'll open up, we'll remove the, the bowl here, four screws. Now, was, before I started filming this, I was trying to keep the bowls down um, just because I know there's some fuel in them. So I'll just tip the bowl down as I remove it. And hopefully that sediment doesn't wash back into the carb. There's a bit of fuel. Yeah, and have a look. This is inside the float bowl. See all that sediment in there? I mix it around. That's gross. I don't think that was our problem, but it probably wasn't helping. Get rid of that. And then I'll pull out the idle jet. So we've got the main jet here, idle jet, down this little hole. It feels like it's loose now, so I'll just uh, shake it out. There it is. You can see it there. It's got little holes uh, around, the, around the sides, and then it's got one little pinhole at the end of it. Hopefully the camera's focusing. And let's, com let's see if we can look up at the light, see if we can see through aren't going to be able to see but we should be able to see light through there and we can't compare that to the one that I've already cleaned here yeah you can see there you go you can see light through there let's go back to the one that's I haven't cleaned yet nothing so make sure when you're rebuilding your carbs, don't only clean the main jet, but also if the bike's only running on choke and not idling very well, make sure to check and clean that idle jet as well. So I'll reassemble. This is not meant to be a carburetor rebuild video. There's plenty of those around and plenty of you guys that know more about this than I do, but um, you've seen how the bike ran before. I'll finish this, put it back on, and we'll see if that changes how the bike runs afterwards. One more thing I wanted to mention before I reassemble this is, is how I clean these idle valves. I've got a piece of stranded copper wire. The copper is softer than the brass because we don't want to, we want to clean it, but we don't want to enlarge the hole. We don't want to use a drill bit because it's a tiny little pinhole, right? So I take a strand of this finely stranded copper and I get it in there and uh, work it back and forth, rotate it, and I'll work it back and forth again, sort of putting a bit of side pressure on it as I clean around and that makes sure not to change the size of the orifice uh, while doing a good job cleaning and then you know spritz it uh, every now and then with carb cleaner and go at it again and then blow it out with some compressed air and then you're uh, then you're good to go okay let's put this back together and see how the bike runs so the carburetors have been reassembled put back on the bike and now it hasn't run since it's um, stone cold no, no tricks here. It's cold. So let's start it and see if there's a difference. We'll go full choke. It's got two notches. So 
So there's like partial choke, full choke, key on, just when no throttle input, we'll just push the button to start it. There we go. It starts right up. Seems to be running pretty well. I'm gonna let it warm up a little bit and then we'll give it we'll give it a rev, see how it sounds. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised, as was I. Okay, it's been running for uh, maybe three or four minutes now. I've taken it off the max choke on that mid choke, and I've pushed it in the rest of the way. So now we're off, we're off choke completely. It's running well, idling well. Let's give it some throttle. Sounds good, doesn't it? So all it was was those uh, plugged up Id idle jets, or some people call them uh, pilot jets. Same, same. Right on. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope that helps you out, and we'll see you out there.